here at the National Farm Machinery Show with Dwayne Martin of Wakarusa Ag Services. He's telling us about this electric skid steer today. We're here at the National Farm Machinery Show, uh, introducing the world's first electric skid loader here. Um, truly powered by electricity. Uh, it's got a 96 volt, 400 amp hour battery, um, dri driving two electric drive motors to drive the drive functions, and then an electric motor to run the uh, hydraulic functions, which controls the booms in the bucket. And we truly believe this is revolutionary to the industry, uh, giving us uh, lower operating costs, less moving parts, and bringing the opportunity to go into confined spaces without uh, emissions. And what do your agriculture buyers think about this plan? It's a new idea, so some of them are hesitant and some of them are very glad to see it. Um, personally, myself, as a dairy farmer, um, operating tier four final engines in dusty conditions with skid loaders we're seeing more fires and um, more engine failures than we have in the past um, i believe this is the answer to that problem uh, given uh, a lot less moving parts no heat from um, an engine and uh, just less maintenance on the machine without oil changes and air filters and radiators to keep clean. Well, if you look at it, it looks a lot like a diesel machine. Um, you got the same functionality that a diesel machine would with uh, standard skid loader hookups where you can hook up to uh, any other attachment that's on the market. Um, we've got the auxiliary hydraulics. We also have electric auxiliary, which Kavaco is making a lot of electric attachments to hook up to this machine. Then instead of running an orbital uh, hydraulic motor, we'll be running an electric motor, which is more efficient than the hydraulic. This machine here uh, features a uh, track mini loader that you can go into confined spaces with, with no exhaust or emissions, it's electric. Um, we're narrow enough to go through a doorway 30 inches wide. It's very versatile, very powerful, 850 pound lift. Um, with a whole host of attachments that we can hook up to this machine. The machine is also radio controlled and we can also uh, ride on the machine too if you want to, if you prefer to ride on it like a traditional diesel compact mini loader. Um, you can do that also, but it is radio controlled which is the way I like to operate it. Um, a lot less uh, bouncing around and more comfortable and you can see better what you're doing. I think there's a lot of uh, potential in the market for this for all kinds of uh, different um, applications. Even in the ag industry, um, I see a big opportunity here in horse barns, um, going in be able to clean out stalls without much noise, with no emissions, and, uh, and with lots of capacity to um, operate for an eight-hour day uh, on a charge. The biggest... Uh, thing I, I like to say about these machines that I, excites me about them is just the operating cost and um, savings you're going to see over running over diesel, running with diesel. We're looking at over on a large machine, we're looking at over $10 an hour in operating costs on consumables, diesel fuel oil changes, and for these you're going to be looking down around at $2 an hour in electric costs depending on what your power costs are. but significant savings that it's a really a hidden cost in the industry you don't really think about it you're putting fuel in every day but um, I think there's lots of opportunity here